Hello and welcome to the Organ Loft at Gloucester Cathedral and uh, I'm Jonathan Hope and I'm going to be taking you through the organ for the next 10 or so minutes and uh, showing you what it can do. And um, it's got, as you can see, it's got four manuals and they all have different jobs. Don't play them all at, uh, at the same time, as you can imagine. I've only got two hands, but although it is possible to do it, but I don't do it very often. Um, I'm going to take you through really the the families of stops that we have on this organ. It's, the organ is a bit like an orchestra, really. Um, it's a one-man orchestra. I suppose the organist is the conductor, and um, we've got stops that you play from the manuals, and we've also got very deep stops down on the on the pedals, um, which we'll get to in a sec. Um, but in terms of um, the families of stops, think of them as the sections of the orchestra. So we have two strings on this organ. For example, this is the quietest stop on the organ. It's a uh, solitional, it's a st string stop. And this is what it sounds like with the, uh, with the shutters closed because it's in a box with lots of other pipes and you can vary the volume by opening and closing the shutters using this pedal down here. This is with the shutters closed. It's almost inaudible downstairs. the uh, Swell Solitional, and um, it's got a, a brother or a sister uh, called the Celeste, Voir Celeste, and if you listen, um, the keen-eared among you will notice that the Solitional and the Celeste are not in the same key by about a, a microtone, and the Celeste is tuned very, very slightly sharper than the Solitional. So the Solitional, I just played you, it, this is a C major chord on the Solitional, this is a C major chord on its brother, the Celeste. So it's, the, it's in the same key, but it's just slightly sharper, which means when you put the two together, you get this, this wavy um, effect. This probably why it's called a Celeste. It, it sounds heavenly and celestial. So this is the two together. And what you can do also, you can have, we've got a, a sub-octave coupler here, so if I pull it out, it plays the octave below, which means you can have this really rich, um, soupy sound. So that's the, uh, you know, the, the two strings on the, on the organ, and it's, they're part of the string um, section of, of the organ, which also includes some bigger um, stops, although these are a sort of a family in their own right, the diapasons. They are, if, if you'd like to think of them as the, you know, the big violins and cellos and violas of the, of the orchestra. And we've got two <clears throat> on this organ, and they both date from when the, um, this organ in this case was first put in, in, in um, 1666. And they sound like this. They sound very 17th century, very refined and, um, and antique. That's the one that fires down into the choir, and this is the one that fires down the nave. And the two together um, make it make very good sort of um, a very good base for accompanying hymns and things like that. They, they're the foundation of what we accompany hymns and anthems and psalms and things on. Mm. 
and they have uh, some cousins, the four foot version of those, which give a bit more brightness to the sound. And a two foot, an octave higher again. And then we um, have on top of that, um, that's called the, the plano or the planum, um, that's the very distinctly organ sound on the organ. And that's the 842 um, diapasons. And on top of that, we have things called mixtures, which are stops that have more than one pipe sounding to any one note. So with this note, for example, there are six different pipes um, singing at the same time and they, they, they sort of add the crown and glory to the top. So this is without, and this is, and this is with. And we have lots and lots of different mixtures on this organ, on different departments. This is the one in the choir. very high sound. And then in the West Positive, which is the top manual, we have another one, which sounds a bit like this. So even higher, and that was very, um, very much the fashion in the 1970s when this organ was made into what it is today. Um, it's to have some very, you have very high mixtures. Um, none more so than this one on the swell, which is probably one of the <clears throat> highest mixtures I've ever heard. Um, this is the, the, the other mixture, which is the more conventional sounding mixture. And then we've got another one, which is even, even higher. I don't use it very often, but it's it's quite some. It's quite f funny to use it at, at Christmas and things like that when you're playing silly things and. It's quite tinkly and yeah, it's a bit of a novelty, but it does have a place on top of when you've got the full organ going at the, at the same time. Putting that on afterwards, it just gives it this crown and glory over the top. So they're the, the, the flues. Um, we've got flutes as well, the actual flutes, the flutes of the orchestra. This is our big great flute, which is on that side of the case, going down the nave. A slightly smaller one on the West Positive, Gedek Pommer, which is a bit more... Um, bit more subtle. Um, there's a lovely flute in the swell box, an open flute, it's a four foot flute, so I have to play it down the octave when I'm playing it on its own. But this is you know, really full tone, but very, in a very understated way. Obviously, all of those flutes have, have um, four foot and two foot cousins as well. Um, one of the things that's um, curious about this organ is that it's got lots of things, what we call mutations. Mutations being they're not, you know, eight, four, and two are piano pitch, an octave above, and then an octave above again. Mutations are not done by octaves, they're done by fifths and thirds and sevenths and things like that. So we have. Um, on the West Positive, this is the eight foot flute, obviously. And then you've got a, a Nazard, which plays an octave and a fifth above that, that note. And a Tiers, which plays a fifth above that. And 
And not only do we have those three, we've got the same stops on the swell as well, which means they're under expression, so you can vary the volume. And they've also got um, cousins on the great and on the choir as well, um, which sound roughly the same, but you know, subtly different. What we have on this organ, which not many other organs have, is pedal mutations. And because we haven't got any space on this organ to, to have a proper 32 foot flue, when, uh, when David Briggs was organist here in, in the late 90s, early noughties, um, he put these pedal mutations on, which, which give it um, a bit more gravitas to, to sort of simulate 32 foot tone. So this is the 16 and 8. And then if you pull out the quint, it gives you the fifth. You probably can't hear it unless you've got a really good uh, bass speaker. And then these as well, which give you more harmonics. So when you play them on their own, it sounds totally ridiculous. But of course, they're not meant to, to be played on their own. They're meant to be played with the rest of the pedal flues. So this is the, the G on the mutations. And I add more pedal, it makes more sense. So obviously you don't hear those individual notes when they're, when they're playing with everything else. And you'll hear plenty of those in the, in the Vienne Symphony later. Um, now, the most exciting, I suppose, stops on this organ are the reed stops. They're your oboes and your clarinets and your trumpets. Um, we've got the very um, silky smooth oboe in the swell. We've got a 16-foot version of that, which usually goes with full swell, but it works quite well just with the oboe as well. We have a stop called a vox humana, which is a bit like a sort of well, it's a bagpipey kind of sound. It's meant to simulate the sound of the human voice, but I think you'll hear when I play this, if anyone sings like this, they need to go and see a doctor. And then of course we've got a big trumpet in the swell as well, which um, with the box closed is quite distant. When you open the boxes, it's a bit louder. We've got some big reeds on the great, 16, 8 and 4 trumpets, and they all together sound like this. some of the loudest stops on the organ um, and notoriously are the first ones to go out of tune, which is really annoying. Um, but uh, they're in pretty good nick at the moment. We've got pedal reeds. They're the biggest, deepest ones. This is the eight foot trumpet going down the bottom octave each time. The eight foot trumpet goes down to the bottom note like this. And then there's carries on down the octave with the 16 foot bombard. Just when you thought it couldn't get any lower, it does go down another octave. And when they're all together, it sounds a bit like this. Very loud. 
a stop on the organ. This is the single loudest stop on the organ. It's, it was put on in uh, 2010, um, before my time, but um, only just. And it's the trompette harmonique. And when you come up the organ loft stairs at the cathedral here, um, you will see the trompette harmonique as you, as you come up the stairs um, to greet you. And it sounds like this. That's the the, you know, the fanfare trumpet we use at the beginning of big processions in services. Um, for example, we had the Duke of Gloucester here a couple of weeks ago, and that was used to herald his arrival. And sometimes, if I'm feeling kind, I even use it to welcome the dean into the service. So uh, he won't thank me for saying that because he thinks it's very loud, which it is. Anyway, that's um, the uh, the individual colours on the organ, and. Um, what I'm going to do now um, is we're going to show you a video of me improvising on a, on a well-known Gloucestershire tune, um, starting off just with the solitional, the quietest stop on the organ, and gradually building up more and more, um, adding more and more stops and, until we get to the end of the improvisation uh, and it's full organ. Um, so you can see the, the huge range that this um, organ has. And um, so it's been my delight to show you some of the colours on this organ and I hope you enjoy the recital uh, later on as well. So thank you very much. <laughs> 